What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you the process of how I turn this guitar from this to this. Alright, so what I've got here is the Fender Powercaster that I got not too long ago. And when I was playing it at church for the first time, I really realized that I missed having a Bixby or, you know, a trim of any sort of kind. So I decided to get the Vibramate and the Bixby B5. So I'm going to take this hardtail piece off and then I'm going to take these posts out as well. And with the Vibramate, you'll actually be able to screw it into the existing holes, which means you do not have to do any additional holes to install this Bixby to this guitar. So I'm gonna screw it in there. And then I'm gonna take the Bixby B5, put it right on top of that. And then I'm gonna screw it into the pre-drilled holes that are already made into the Vibramate. I do not have to drill any holes into the finish of this guitar at all. It does make the action a little bit higher, but you can adjust for that and it's really good to go. It's easy. I'm using the Dunlop 01 clean and prep there. Uh, and then I'm using the 02 to clean the fingerboard to make sure everything's polished and good to go. I usually try to do that when I do string changes. What you'll need here is a capo and you'll need to crimp or bend the very end of the string to get it in there. And then you'll want to hold it tight, send it under the pole piece and then over the bridge. And while you're holding it tight, clamp it down with the capo so it stays tight and it doesn't slip from the post of the Bixby. It is super annoying when it slips and you're trying to tune it up and the, then the string is all messed up. You have too much slack, this or that. It, it can get really frustrating. So. I recommend you either wedge something under there where the posts are in the Bixby or you use this. Um, or some people will actually drill a hole straight through the Bixby posts and do a string through design which works as well. Um, or you can even buy Vibramate has a spoiler that comes off the end of the Bixby. It's really cool if you want to look it up that you can just pull the string straight through. It's really easy and I think it looks really cool. I'll probably eventually buy one. But for the sake of this video, I wanted to show you how to do it like this. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you for the next video.